Dyes Indigo Eclipse here and I wanted to make a video about how to find your patron deity. So it can be quite a long tedious process because I really encourage you to do a lot of research. This is a deity that you are going to dedicate yourself to and build a strong bond with. Of course you can still incorporate other deities into your spell work and rituals but this is going to be your main deity, so I really recommend doing thorough research and making sure it feels right. Uh, I did put together a spell that can help you to find your deity. Um, I would recommend doing this on a new moon or a waxing crescent. And by the next full moon, you should have your answer. Um... So what I would want you to do is to research the deities, find out every aspect of them, you know, um, things like what color they're associated with, what animals they're associated with, what element they're associated with, of course what they represent, you know, like if they're god or goddess of love or wisdom or just what they stand for. And I want you to, you know, make a list of the ones that you feel drawn to so that um, you can make a decision. And let me just walk you through that spell real quick. I will write it down and put it in the comments with the instructions. And of course, I recommend casting a circle, um, whether it be an energy circle or a physical circle with like salt or chalk or crystal, crystals, candles, whatever but make sure you have a protective circle around you first. And um, so you'll need a candle and you'll need two lists of deities with their correspondence, deities that you are drawn to that you haven't decided between. And I want you to, after the circle's cast, light the candle. I It doesn't matter what color of candle. And then the little, the spell I wrote is in this sacred space I call my ancestors and guides to lead the way. Send me signs from the divine that I may know my patron's name. That's simple. Then I want you to light one of those lists on fire. Of course, use fire responsibly. Make sure after it's burned all the way um, that you put the fire out. But let that paper burn all the way. And, you know, make sure, of course, that you're casting your intentions with that. And then close your circle. And over the next few weeks, you know, if, especially if you're doing this on the, the new moon or the waxing moon, the, by the next full moon, you should have your answer. But you need to keep track of any signs, like angel numbers. If you're seeing a certain color a lot, a certain animal a lot, um, and see which goddess or god that corresponds with. And um, meditate on it too. Every day, try to meditate on, you know, what god or goddess is calling to you. And I don't mean sit here and go, oh, is it this god or is it this goddess? I mean, just be quiet. Meditate. See what comes to you. See what colors come to you. What feelings come to you. You know, what images come to you. And see what god or goddess they're associated with. And by the next, you know, give it a couple weeks. You can... If, you, if it's been a couple weeks and you don't feel like you have enough information to, to make a decision, just keep, just keep waiting. It will come to you. But I recommend that you wait until you are completely sure before you dedicate yourself to a deity. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I will write all of that down in the comments. Let me know if it helped you. You know, leave me some comments. Thanks so much for watching. This was Indigo Eclipse. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave comments or like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.